Well, for me, it's really uh, if they're three-level scorers. By three-level scoring, I mean they can uh, shoot the three, mid-range, as well as uh, get to the hoop. Um, handles would be one of them as well. I think speed. And then, of course, you know, uh, that clutch ability in the end game to be able to win the game for their teams. Mm -hmm. Okay, and Aaron, let's start off by talking about your team. How is your preparation so far for the Morocco Waltz? It's been great. Actually, our import just came in uh, a couple of days ago. We've had a couple of practices with him already. He's, uh, he's a great guy. He's gelling with the team. Uh, the team's great. We're all healthy. Um, the guys are excited to, you know, get back. You know, we lost in the semis last, uh, last conference. So we're raring to get back this conference and hopefully win that title. And also, how have you been recovering from your recent injury? Actually, um, I I'm great. Fully recovered, 100%. Uh, I actually played the last game of the semis, but I was very limited. I wasn't fully healed yet. But when I came back to Manila, I did a little bit of therapy and I was able to get back to work right away. Well, you got to be 100% when you want to check uh, these particular guards that you listed here as the toughest to defend. So let's start off first with two-time PBA champ, Terrence Romeo, as one of the toughest players to go up against. You know, just. Saying his name just reminds me how hard it will be uh, to defend him one-on-one. -on -one. How is it actually being right in front of him? Well, actually, last conference was the first time I played Terrence because the first conference I played, my rookie conference, he got injured before we played them. So uh, I actually have had a lot of workouts with Terrence. We used to actually live in the same village. So I've seen him in person, but it was totally different in the game. Um, He's a, that guy who has probably the best handles in the league. And what, just like I said a while ago, three-level scorer can score from the three, uh, the mid-range, and can get to the basket. And his, his ability to make tough shots, it's, it's, I don't know uh, who else can compare to that in the league. Yes, and you've also got another two-time PBA champ in your list. You have Stanley Pringle of Henebra. And here's a look at his stats from his previous conference. Of course, and when you look at the numbers that he has, uh, it's going to be something... It's really incredible because when you look at it, you think that, oh, so he can score in uh, these numerous ways. But then it's not just about the scoring. It's the fact that he can shift you left and right and get you out of the picture, uh, Aaron. How tough is it guarding him? Well, there's a joke that goes around between not just our team, I think all the teams, that Stanley's basically an import. Uh, <laughs> he's an import disguised as a local. That's how he plays. Uh, and just like you said, he doesn't just do one thing. He doesn't just score. He can rebound. He can uh, assist. He can uh, run the team. I think it just depends on what Coach Tim wants him to do for that particular game, and he'll be able to do it. Of course. And uh, when you look at uh, Stanley Pringle, you think of him as someone that's... Is he one of those guys that is ageless to you? Because he actually is up there in terms of age. But then the way he's playing right now, the way he has been playing for Barangay Nebra, it feels like he's just aging like wine. I think uh, Stanley is still at his prime. I think he'll be at his prime for a while, um, especially with that Tenebra team. Uh, they're a very well-balanced team. He doesn't have to do too much, but at the same time... So Aaron's uh, net right now is a bit stuttery, so we're going to try and uh, get him back, but let's at the same time talk a bit about some of the names that he mentioned here. And uh, I, he mentioned a, a great name as a third one, and I think we do have him back. You can ask him about that. Yes, Aaron, you also put Jason Castro on the list. And you know what? He's always, you know, the favorite answer when it comes to <laughs> players answering kung sino yung pinakamahirap na makalaro. What makes him tough to beat, Aaron? You know, actually, funny thing, when I was growing up, my dad was actually coaching Jason at Talking Text. And I used to watch him every day uh, work out. And, you know, first of all, he's... He's not the type of guy that will, will shake you too much. He's not a guy that's going to be fancy, but he gets the job done. Uh, he can shoot the three. He can hit the mid-range. He's probably still the fastest guy in the league. And you cannot relax when you play against Jason. At any point in time, he can just blow by you and get to the rim. Absolutely. Uh, you know what? Uh, since you mentioned watching him as a kid uh, when your dad used to coach him, uh, your dad used to coach my dad. Maybe you could have gotten tips on him on how to defend <laughs> players. But uh, looking at Jason Castro, <laughs> uh, looking at Jason Castro, we called him the blur in his prime. And is he still, this, is that first step still as dangerous as it used to be? Because if there's one thing that normally time takes away from you, it's that speed, it's that power in your legs. Uh, it definitely is. I think it just goes to show how he played in the finals. They won the championship. Um, you know, he's, he's still tough. Uh, one of the toughest uh, guards to guard in the league. And 
he's a just like I said, he's the type of guy you can't relax. You have to make sure you're always on your toes because at any point in time he can blow by you. You know, the names that you mentioned here, so you have a Stanley, you have Jason, and then you have Terrence. All of them with the ability to blow by you, go uh, function one on one. But a lot of people might look at them just look at their scoring numbers. I, I think a similarity with them also is the fact that they are more more than that one dimensional score, more than that just you know scoring at three levels. They do so much more for their ball club. What do you think that is? Well, in terms of uh, like somebody like Terrence, Terrence can easily get you six seven assists a game, uh, and you know with guys like June Mar and you know you have CJ now and Marshall. And, Chris Ross, it's so easy to get assists on their team. And I'm sure, you know, we've seen him in certain games uh, turn into that playmaker. Um, in terms of Stanley and Jason, I think it's, they're very similar in a sense that they can also rebound the ball. And when they do rebound the ball, they tend to start the break. Once they start the break, it's easier for the team to get into offense or it's easier for them to score on fast breaks. Mm -hmm. So I think there's a lot of dimensions to all of their games that I would actually like to, or I do uh, want to emulate as I go forward in my career.